Good evening. Good evening. The service for Ash Wednesday is found on page 264 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Old Testament lesson is from Joel. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord is coming. It is near, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness, like blackness spread upon the mountain. A great and powerful army comes. Their light is never been <clears throat> from of old, nor will it again after them in ages to come. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord, your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave, the bless and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord, your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the aged, gather the children, even infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests and ministers of the Lord weep. Let them say, Spare your people, O Lord, and do not mock your her <coughs> and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the peoples? Where is their God? The word of the Lord. The psalm today is Psalm 103. We'll read it responsibly by half verse. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all, all that is within me, bless, bless the holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits. He forgives all your sins. And he heals all your infirmities. He reduced, he redeems your life from the grave. He satisfies you with good things. 
Executes righteousness. And judges all of our hearts. He <clears throat> makes his way known to Moses. And his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. So he will not always accuse you. Nor will he keep his He has not dealt with us according to our sins. Nor reward us according to our sins. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy laid upon the most heavy of the earth. As far as the east is from the west, so far as the east is from the west. As a father cares for his children, so is the Lord cares for the days of the earth. For he himself knows whoever, where, whereof we are made. Our days are like the grass. When the wind goes over it, it is gone. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever on those who fear him. His on those who keep his covenant. And remember his his and the Lord has set his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding. Bless the Lord, all who all you his hosts. Bless the Lord, all your works of his in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The epistle is from Second Corinthians. We entreat you on behalf of Christ. Be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become righteousness of God. As we work together with him, we urge you also not to accept the grace of the God in vain. For he says, at an acceptable time, I have listened to you, and on the day of salvation, I have helped you. See now is the acceptable time. See now is the day of salvation. We are putting no obstacles in anyone's way, so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we have commended ourselves in every way through great endurance, in afflictions, hardship, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, holiness of spirit, genuine love, truthful speech, and the, and the power of God with the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left, in honor and dishonor, in ill repute, in good repute. We are treated as impostors and yet are true as unknown, as yet are well known, as dying and see. We are alive as punished and yet not killed as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet making many rich, as having nothing, and yet possessing everything. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, Beware practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them. For then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But store for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. I've been watching this series on Paramount Network. Network. You have to, you have to buy the network, but I did, so I did. And I did, it's called 1883, name of the show. And it's a prequel to Yellowstone. The one with uh, Kevin Costner and the Duttons. Well, the 1883 is the Duttons before they get to Yellowstone. They they they're going across the prairie. You know, they got a wagon train. Remember Ward Bond and wagon train? Well, this ain't that that wagon train. That's for sure. <laughs> and they're they're actually, they're with a group of immigrant German immigrants who want to go out to Oregon to settle. And they go through all sorts. Of, I mean, it's it's not pretty. I mean, they, there's rattlesnakes, and if it's not rattlesnakes, and there's bandits, and if it's not bandits, there's you know a tornado in one episode. You know, they're out there in the middle of the nowhere, it's blown by, and Dorothy's nowhere nearby. <laughs> and it just and it's really kind of like rivers they got to cross, and they have to give up all the. Some people brought all their stuff from Germany. Like one guy brought his piano and stuff like that. And they have to dump it. They can't bring all that stuff. You're not, you can't get across the river. It's, it's just not going to work. So what if it's, all, it's also narrated by the daughter. Her, her voice narrates the whole thing. And it was one episode which I really found interesting. I actually even wrote down this little thing she said. And she says that heaven and hell coexist. And God is in the land. God is the land. And if you think about that for a moment, that's so theologically correct. Heaven and hell do coexist. <coughs> in the world in which we live in today, when we think about the people in the Ukraine at this moment, for them, heaven and hell are indeed existing side by side, coexisting. But the fact that God 
is the land reminds us on this Ash Wednesday that we too are of the land. Our very dustiness, we were created from the dust. God built it up, took it up, made a little person, went, and it was a lie. We are made of dust. Carl Sagan used to have a show on TV about the stars and stuff. He said we were made of stardust, and we truly are. There is nothing we are not made of that doesn't exist in the whole universe. We are dust. And sometimes we forget that. We forget that we are part of the elements of the earth, the sky, the sea, of each other. And when we got come here from ash to Ash Wednesday and we reminded with the ashes that we are dust, and to dust we shall return. We come to that <laughs> moment here in penitence, seeking God's repentance and absolution. But I think also this day is more than just about repentance and absolution. It's about second chances. Because that's what God truly is about. God is about second chances, and third chances, and fourth chances and fifth chances, and keep going and going and going and going. The chances of infinity and beyond. When you look at the stories that we read, it's about forgiveness. The prodigal son. He goes off and he's a wastrel. But yet, he's welcomed home. Kill the fatty cow. We're going to have a patty tonight. The woman brought to Jesus, caught in adultery, and he says, well, who here hasn't sinned? Go ahead and cast that first stone. And when they all leave, he forgives her. Go your way, he says. This is the God who sought out that one lost sheep. We may say, well, why seek out one lost sheep? Well, you don't know it's what it's like unless you are that one lost sheep, does it? When God seeks us out, God's not looking to punish us or to send us down, send us off into oblivion. God seeks nothing but our wholeness. God seeks us in love. And Ash Wednesday, we are reminded of our dustiness, but we are also reminded of God's immeasurable, infinite love for us. In the dust of the earth, in the divine breath that is in each and every one of us, God lives. And I know this world is getting a little bit crazy. And we pray for the people of Ukraine on this night. We pray for their country, for their safety, that this will come to an end. We know how horrific it looks when we see it. And so we pray this night for our fellow dust bodies. <laughs> That's what we are. We are all of the dust. They with us. And one of these days, when we're all gone back to the dust, our dust will get mingled with the dust of others. And we may get mingled with people we didn't, today, wouldn't even look at. We'd be able to be mixed up with them for eternity. We are all all in this big mix. All of creation, from a giant sequoia to a Galapagos turtle, tortoise, they may live a long time, but they still guess what they do. They still die, and they still return to the dust. And we are part of that created, and we are part of that. We are all one 
in this. Maybe that's why it's so hard when we see something like what's happening today. Because we've forgotten our dustiness. We've forgotten that God created us for communion. And God created us out of love. So on this night, probably more and as we move through Lent, let's remember what God desires for each one of us. Not the death of a sinner, but rather that they turn from their wickedness and live. Live. So let's take these dusty old bodies. Let's go out into this world and let us show God's love, God's desire, God's grace for all. Amen. service continues on page 264 in the Book of Common Prayer. Please stand. <clears throat> Dear people of God, the first Christians observed with great devotion the days of our Lord's passion and resurrection. It became the custom of the church to prepare for them by a season of penitence and fasting. This season of Lent provided a time in which converts to the faith were prepared for holy baptism. It was also a time when those who, because of notorious sins, have been separated from the body of the faithful, were reconciled by penitence and forgiveness and restored to the fellowship of the church. Thereby, the whole congregation was put in mind of the message of pardon and absolution set forth in the gospel of our Savior, and of the need which all Christians continually have to renew their repentance and faith. I invite you, therefore, in the name of the Church, to the observance of a holy Lent, by self-examination and repentance, by prayer, fasting, and self-denial, and by reading and meditating on God's holy word, and to make a right beginning of repentance and as a mark of our mortal nature, let us now kneel before the Lord, our Maker and Redeemer. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. Grant that these ashes may be to us a sign of our mortality and penitence, that we may remember that it is only by your gracious gift that we are given everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember.
Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. And now we will read. Psalm 51, found on page 266 in the prayer book, in unison. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. In your great passion, blot out my offenses. Wash me through and through from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. And so you are justified when you speak, the upright in your judgment. Indeed, I have been wicked from my birth, a sinner from my mother's womb. For behold, you look for truth deep within me, and will make me understand wisdom secretly. Purge me from my sin, and I shall be pure. Wash me, and I shall be clean indeed. Make me hear of joy and gladness, that the body you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with bountiful spirit. I shall teach you ways up to the wicked, and the sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from death, O God, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness, O God of my salvation. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Have you desired it, I will have offered sacrifice, but you take no delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. We we'll continue with the litany of penitence found on page 267. 
most holy and merciful Father, we confess to you and to one another and to the whole communion of saints in heaven and on earth that we have sinned by our own fault in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Have mercy on us, Lord. We have been deaf to your call to serve as Christ served us. We have not been true to the mind of Christ. We have grieved your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us, Lord. We confess to you, Lord, all our past unfaithfulness, the pride, hypocrisy, and impatience of our lives. Our self-indulgent appetites and ways, and our exploitation of other people. Our anger at our own frustration, and our envy of those more fortunate than ourselves. Our intemperate love of worldly goods and comforts, and our dishonesty in daily life and work. We confess to you, Lord. Our negligence in prayer and worship, and our failure to commend the faith that is in us. We confess to you, Lord. Accept our repentance, Lord, for the wrongs we have done, for our blindness to human need and suffering and our indifference to injustice and cruelty. Accept our repentance, Lord. For all false judgments, for uncharitable thoughts toward our neighbors, and for our prejudice and contempt toward those who differ from us. Accept our repentance, Lord. For our waste and pollution of your creation, and our lack of concern for those who come after us. Accept our repentance, Lord. Restore us, good Lord, and let your anger depart from us. Accomplish in us the work of your salvation. That we may show forth the glory in the world. By the cross and passion of your Son, our Lord. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desires not the death of sinners, but rather that they turn from their wickedness and live, has given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardons and absolves all those who truly repent and with sincere hearts believe his holy gospel. Therefore, we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do on this day, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that the last we may come to his eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Ascribe the Lord the honor to his name, bring offerings and come into his court.
All things come to thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. The great thanksgiving is Eucharistic prayer A, found on page 361 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. You bid your faithful people cleanse their hearts and prepare with joy for the Paschal Feast, that fervent in prayer and in works of mercy and renewed by your word and sacraments, they may come to the fullness of grace which you have prepared for those who love you. Therefore we praise you, joining our voice with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sam, in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O oh God, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit, to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament, and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask for your Son, Jesus Christ, by him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now as our Savior Christ is taught, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the peace. The 
gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on whom he has by faith. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The 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 body of Christ, the bread of the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 The body of Christ. Most communion prayer is found on page 365 in the Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now to the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and the Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you. In the name of you all,
Peace, the love, and serve the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.